it is possible to take the uh, the injector off of the throttle body without removing the throttle body from the motor. It makes this job a lot easier. You don't have to lift the subframe and mess around with all those boots. You just uh, there's two screws back in here, and you'll get a little more of a detailed look in a moment. And I'll show you how to fish that thing out. So I hope there's enough light here to see. So this. This is your injector right here. There's going to be two screws holding it down. One up right here and one right there. And you're going to need one of these to get it out. There, You're not going to be able to reach it with a standard issue screwdriver. So definitely get yourself one of these little kits. Make life a lot easier. So right here, this is your injector. So that's going to just pop out here. Now you can see right there is an electrical connection. And that's where this plugs into, and that's what operates your valve. So it's easier to disconnect that once you fish this out. So you fish this through, and uh, you feed it out, and then proceed with the cleaning. So while you're in here, while you, after you've cleaned out your uh, injector, you might as well uh, pop in here and uh, at least clean your inline fuel filter. And be real careful when you're doing this. It's easy to the screen is real fine. It's easy to uh, puncture that. This is a this is a fairly clean filter. I replaced it recently, but uh, not a bad idea to check this often. It's easy to do. It's right on the uh, right on your quick release on the back side. So I always recommend doing this um, before you install this. Makes it a lot easier when it's off. So the here's a uh, a uh, fuel injector off a of KTM 350EXC. This is the injection nozzle right here. That's going to, that's what uh, atomizes the fuel. This is where your fuel line comes from. So when you take this off the bike, um, this is what, this is where it comes apart. It's screw, take the screw out, separate that, take care to not lose that washer. That's important. You've got to have a seal on that. I like to blow this out, some compressed air from the opposite end. I'll blow in through this uh, port here. I'll slip a piece of uh, vinyl tubing over this and just to make things easier I'll clamp it to the bench but to activate it there's a valve in here you need to open and so I use a 9 volt battery I just cut the ends off make two leads there's two contacts in here and as you make contact you can hear the uh, you can hear the valve opening and closing so you need to make that you need to operate that valve in order to uh, in order to clean the uh, injector. So since I don't have three hands this makes it a lot easier. I just secure this to the bench and I will uh, apply some compressed air through the end right here. You can use some uh, solvent if you like. I do, not a lot. But I'll just uh, gently apply the air and uh, make contact here. I can hear that when the valves open you can hear the uh, can hear as the air passes through through the valve so now I know it's now I know it's clearing the injector and there it is that's a clean injector and I'll show you how to restall it in a second